what's happening everybody and welcome on back to the channel hope you're doing well i figured let's just go ahead and continue on with the stone roses listening to the next track here on the album which is going to be waterfall which just reminds me of tlc don't go chasing waterfalls i saw that that music video a long time ago when i was a kid and it scared me <laughs> them turning into water and the guy getting shot there was there was a lot going on anyways let's go ahead and listen to the song we'll talk about it after here we go.
Waterfall is the type of track that really, really makes me want more. Like the ending that they were getting into right there, I was wanting that to continue on for a while. It was such a kind of unexpected twist, uh, which we really got an unexpected twist maybe about two minutes or whatever in when it stopped for a moment, brought in slightly new instrumentation, like new melody, completely different from what it was before. And then it kind of exhaled and followed a new movement from there, a new instrumental half of the, the song there, which is really nice. I like the bright, splat, the bright splashes of guitar, I would say, that are brought in at that moment. And the bass kind of takes a little bit of a step back because the, the first half of the track was really bass rhythm heavy, which I really enjoyed that, Manny on the bass there. And then uh, actually playing in bass, I'll, I'll actually mention, uh, with the bass playing, the drums were really, really nice at that section there because the patterns that the drums were playing were, were very unique in the music. I thought that was really, really nice. Um, and then later on, when it got to that, that instrumental half, the guitar came in on a very lonely kind of sounding solo. Like, there wasn't a lot of fullness behind it. It was actually really empty. And then you would have the like that guitar sound begin to fill in in some of those spaces. The drums begin to pick up. You still hear the ghost of the bass playing in the back. And then it becomes more full. But as it becomes more full and hits that point, it pretty much hits that little bit of a fade out. I would have like, I would have liked to have heard where that goes from there. But I guess that's not a bad thing to leave your your listener wanting, to be honest, it's not the worst thing. Better to leave them wanting than to leave them wanting to leave. Uh, it says that this was the fourth single taken from this album, uh, released in 1991, and it reached number 27 on the UK singles chart. Let's get these lyrics though. Chimes sing Mon or Sunday morn, today's the day she's sworn to steal what she never could own and race from this hole she calls home. Now you're at the wheel, tell me how does it feel? So good to have equalized to lift up the lids of your eyes. So what what is she is she getting married on this Sunday morning? Today's the day she's sworn, like to another, to steal what she never could own. That's the line that gets me to steal what she never could own. And to get out of this place that she calls home. That that I'm gonna have to look at. She'll carry on through it all. She's a waterfall. She'll carry on through it all. Like she has the strength. She's she's a constant source of strength and energy like a waterfall so maybe that's what they're saying hopefully see the steeple pine the hills as old as time soon to be put to the test to be whipped by the winds of the west Sh stands on shifting sands the scales held in her hands the wind it whips her away and fills her fills up her brigantine sails hmm Let's 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 read about this one because I'm actually not sure. When it said scales, it made me think of justice and like, is this a song that's actually a metaphor for justice and perhaps waterfall? She's crying like justice is crying because justice is not done. And the no, but Sunday morn, no, that's that's there's no there's no courts that are open on Sunday morning. I don't know. <laughs> It says, uh, just reading some other notes here, because I don't, I don't see like an article about the lyrics here or what they're about. Uh, it says that this song might be an illusion for a revolution, as the roses fancy the ideas behind both the Great French Revolution and May 6-8. Stealing gets us back to regaining freedoms yet now by either a country or a citizen. Uh, da, da, da. S I mean, so it could be a fight of some sort for independence i don't think i'm you know i don't think i'm hitting the mark on this one i'm gonna be honest i don't think i'm hitting the mark on this one there's a lot of different directions that it could go and i'm not sure if i want to move forward with any other directions to be honest i i can't commit to what i think it means but i will say that it's a really nicely played song let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below sometimes i don't know let me know what you guys th think in the comments below you can follow me over on twitter support the channel on patreon Thank you so much for being here. Come back tomorrow and I will talk to you all later. Bye guys.